I'm breaking and entering. I'm breaking and entering. Nobody's here. Just going to quiet. Oh, there's nothing in there. Worst burglar ever. Good morning, everyone. Dave from the Wee Hours here today, checking out some medieval dynasty. I had this on my wish list and it popped up in early access, what, ooh, a couple of days ago as I'm recording this. And I checked it out and saw what the early reviews were and then they were broadly pretty positive. One reviewer described it as a mix between Kingdom Come Deliverance and Banished. And I thought, well, that's an interesting combination. So we've got a bit going on here. We've got some survival elements. We've got some town building elements. We're going to be doing some crafting. We're going to potentially get married and build a family. They're throwing a whole lot into the blender and hitting the mix button with Medieval Dynasty, but it has a lot of the stuff that I generally generally like in a game, so I thought we'd give it a little bit of a test drive and see what's going on. As is very typical, I have done literally nothing with this. I have fired this up and hit record. I don't even know the controls at this point. We should all be very used to this feeling around the wee hours, but let's dive into some Medieval Dynasty and see what we got. Right, well, we're here. Let me just bring everyone up to speed. I was a farmer, and then there was a war, and now everything is terrible. That's pretty much the backstory that you've got. I'm already seeing I'm starting to collect stuff here, so collect that. All right, hold down that to collect it. A stick, that's got to be handy. I've got a mission to talk to the Castellan, but if this is crafting, I'm not going anywhere until I have picked up every stick and every branch that I possibly can. Oh, what is that? Oh, that was another stick. Okay, sticks are probably going to be pretty handy. I have no idea how to craft yet, but I'm sure that will come up. Uh, what was that? Is that uh, more stuff? Get me more stuff. Yeah, and I'm not seeing any limits on where I can go here. I can just wander off and do whatever the heck I feel. I did see in the reviews that was one of the positive aspects to this game is just, yeah, you can go along with the quest, and we're certainly going to try and do that. I'm going to try and move with the quest if I can, if only to get a handle on the game. But berries, I believe we do have to eat, so let's get some berries. But the, uh, you know, the comments and the reviews were basically like, uh, yeah, you can just blow off the quest and go wandering. Just go do whatever the heck you feel like doing around here. So I like that. I like a bit of an open world, non-linear kind of thing. I like any game that lets me do whatever the heck I want that day. That's going to be my ideal game. I think I've broadly looted the place dry. I'm sure there's tons more stuff here. There's way more stuff. But let's go check out the castle. And now, do I have any kind of quest target? Yes, I do. I've got sort of a exclamation mark up there. And I can, I can punch side to side. And it looks like I've got... I have no torch in slot. Okay, so I could use a torch, but I don't actually have one. I'm just going to grab a stick or two while I'm on my way here. Oh, and a rock. That's got to be handy. There is a little bit of stuttering, not lag per se, but there's a little bit of stuttering and, and things going on here. It is early access. We're not going to expect this to be perfect. We're not going to expect this to be 100% by any means. So, wow, looks great. Wow, that's a really nice landscape to come up on there. Um, of course, continue the looting, Dave. Don't don't stop the looting around here. Yeah, birch branches, all of that stuff. Wow, it is very, very good looking. And I've got signs. Where did the signs go? To Hornica and Gostovia. Okay, well, it looks like Gostovia is sort of my vague direction here. So let's head down there. Okay, hi, hi, do I live here? Alwyn, oh, Alwyn, you've actually got some dialogue. All right, how's the job? Have you seen that noble that was passing nearby? And never mind. Um, I don't know about a noble. Do you have any information about that? Oh, approval minus two. Oh, I've got a rep with you, Alwyn, age 19. I did not know that. Um, do, do you have a minute? Do, do you have a minute? No, you don't have time for idle chat. Okay, just uh, move along, Alwyn. Move along. Good good to meet you. Uh, there is a goose somewhere around here. I can clearly hear a goose. Aha! Found you. Found you. Okay, at, oh, I can buy a gosling. Can I buy a goose? I can buy a goose. If I had 2,000 money, I could just buy a goose. Okay, well, about 60 to 70% of the game's 
on my channel are involved in some way, some way with me harassing chickens. And I think a goose is close enough. We're going to come back to you later when I've got 2,000 money. Uh, Nadbor, talk to me about yourself. Do you have a minute? Sure, what is it? Okay, you're more chatty than Alwyn was. How's the job? There's the noble thing again, and never mind. So, some restrictive dialogue. I don't have a lot of options with you, but you may not be a vital character. You may just be Mr. Nobody with a hammer here. How's your job? You enjoy what you're doing, and that gave me approval plus five. So Nadbor likes me a tiny little bit more because I was interested in him. That's a good maxim for living, folks. If you want to make a friend seem like you're interested in them. I just did that with Nadbor, and I got plus five approval. Looks like the Castellan. Is this you? No, a little bit further along. Okay. It's a, it's a nicely fleshed out town. I get the feeling I could do virtually anything around here. Like, can I do anything with your cutlery and plates and whatnot? No. Okay. Are you in charge of the geese? Because, oh, Gisela, I'm just going to chat to you. Hi. I want to tell you something, beautiful lady. Whoa, 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 Gisela. Just, let's just dial it back. I just got into town. I have not made any romantic intentions towards anyone at all, Gisela. So let's just dial it back a little bit. Uh, I just got back from working in the field, tough job, and then the noble one again. Well, you have a different dialogue, so what about working in the field? With experience, it can be a little easier. Okay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna step away from you, Gisela, because I feel, I feel you may be misreading my, my messages here. I don't want to upset you in any way. Uh, you, you appear to be the castellan. Hi. Uh, no, come here, come here. Yes, there we go. Hey, stranger, what brings you to our valley? Oh, I have a name. I, my name is Rackamer or Rassimer. Came from the south looking for my uncle Lorden. Right. In his old home, they called him Lorden the Raftsman. Wow, that's so weird. That was my nickname in high school. What are the odds of that? Um, yes. Yeah, so what do you, what can you tell me about my, my uncle? Told me once about his life on the river. Came to the right place a few years too late. Whoa, how long was the war? How long was I gone? Because in the backstory, we had a farm, the farm burned, and now I'm out on my own. I didn't realize years had gone by. He was a great man and a better friend, good craftsman. All right, so he built the tavern. Good to know. My mother told me he got wealthy. Can I have all his wealth? Please say yes. Your uncle got himself killed. Had this idea of a huge trade with the German kingdom in the West... Five carts with the best ore. Okay, so um, didn't work out well for Mr. Raftsman there. My uncle is dead. His wealth is gone. I came all this way here for nothing. Um, Unigost, can we kind of wrap this up? Because I think I have to eat something soon. I can craft simple tools. I can collect my necessities from the wilderness. Yeah, I've done that bit. Unigost, I have so many birch branches in my pocket right now. I know how to count and how to barter. So he'll let me kind of move into town if I have skills, which I seriously do. I may not have goods or gold to offer, but you can have as much land here as you want. Not sold, but granted to you for life. Oh, cool. Like free land. Excellent. Build a house, grow vegetables, keep some livestock. Yeah, I've got my eye on the geese, Unigost. I've got, I've got a specific eye on a couple of those goslings over there. Follow my uncle's dreams and as much land as I can put to use, as long as I pay my taxes. Aha. Aha. Cut down trees to build your house. Reeds grow by the river. Okay, so go get stuff, is is what I'm hearing here, Unigost. You'll find several vendors in our village. If you don't have any money for food, look for mushrooms. I got some berries. I feel those are going to go not very far at all. Thank you so much. I am, uh, I'm basically out of here, and I got a hammer. I got a hammer. Okay, good. Oh, things. Okay, yeah, there's a lot going on here. So I'm trying to work my way through all the menus and stuff. I've got to my inventory. And in my all... Well, no, go back. Very sensitive there. No, go back again. Very sensitive. Although being full controller support, the controller support is not quite as perfect as it could be. So there may be a little 50-50 here with the mouse keyboard and the controller. Do try to play along at home if you're so inclined. There's my sticks. I've got a bunch of sticks and some rocks. 
the unripe berries that I picked, picked up. Not a heck of a lot of nutrition on that, but apparently I rolled into town with some oat rolls and some dried meat. That's better nutrition and some apples. Yeah, those unripe berries aren't going to go very far. Oh, and I have a weight capacity. Okay, I did not realize that, and I'm... I'm getting there. I don't have, um, don't have nothing in my pockets, but I've got a little room to, to grow. I've got one torch, not in a slot, but I've got one, and my hammer, and then some basic clothing. Okay, and there, I can just break that down into other things. Talk to me about my skills, if you could, please. All right, skill types help you filter your skills based on selected type, extraction, hunting, animal husbandry, diplomacy, survival, crop cultivation, crafting. Oh, wow, that's a lot of stuff. That's a lot of stuff. I don't appear to have any actual skill points yet. That makes sense. I just rolled into town, but... Okay, I'll have to have to keep an eye on these things. Well, I'm going to do things in my traditional style, which is largely ignore things until they become an actual problem. So I'm going to put away a lot of that knowledge into the back burner of my brain and just try and focus on... Chapter one here, a new beginning. Now I need to gather a lot of stuff, but I can, oh, there's more geese. There's more geese. It's a very geese centric town. I've noticed I can't do any cheap tree chopping until I have an ax. I notice you, sir, um, have a simple torch that, oh, I can steal things. Oh, excellent. I did notice I can kind of creep. I can, I can creep. Would it, I have a torch? I, oh, hi, water. Right, um, okay, I should go find a lake. All right, so water on my right down there, food on my left. I did eat an apple just to test how I eat things, uh, so my food is good, but I think there's a river right down here. So I'm just going to go grab a quick drink of delicious river water, and then we're going to get back to the idea of finding out who might have an axe around here. Oh, the water effect is very nice. Oh, I like this. This is really nice. I like looking down at the bottom of the river there. That's good. Let's take a quick drink of water. Well, that that tops me up basically completely. I don't know what the two inner rings are. I get food and I get water. Green and blue. Pretty self-explanatory. I'm not sure what red and orange is. I'm going to take a stab in the dark that orange is some kind of sort of daily stamina, like I'm going to have to sleep. At some point, that's my best guess. I'll get some birch branches. Now, back to the thing of stone axe. Is that a thing I'm going to have to buy or a thing I'm going to have to make? Oh, God, I'm going to have to go back into the menus again. Can I break into this person's house? No. Oh, wait. Yes, I can. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Okay. I'm breaking and entering. I'm breaking and entering. Nobody's here. Just going to quiet. Oh, there's nothing in there. Worst burglar ever. Okay, new ploy, new ploy. This is this is how we're going here in Medieval Dynasty. I'm going to leave them an apple. I'm going to give them an apple. This is going to really freak them out. This is going to, oh, this, this is good. I Not only did I not steal anything, I left you an apple. And just quietly sneak into this house and leave you an apple. It's all going to be fine. Yes, the apple fairy is here in Medieval Dynasty. You'll never be any the wiser. Okay, I should really figure out if I have to buy an axe or, um, or make an axe at some point, because the leaving apple things, as fun as it is, isn't really progressing my uh, my story here anymore. Oh, excuse you. You're kind of, you're sitting in front of the door there. Can you, can you move? Like, seriously, can you move? I, I can't get in. I think I can actually tell you to do that. Cypra. Cypra, can you come talk to me? Can you move a little bit, please? Like, seriously, man. No? Okay. I'm not leaving an apple for you then. Well, no dice on the axe scenario, but I found Iwona over here who wants some seeds. So if I end up with any seeds, I should bring them to her. Seasons and sleep. I did notice it was getting a bit of dark out. Season changes automatically after three days. That is a very, very quick season. That's super fast. Many things depend on the season. Sowing, harvesting, cereals, all that kind of stuff. Wild resources, berries and mushrooms. Sleeping in a bed restores my HP. Okay. 
You can sleep in your bed or by the fire between 7 p.m. and 7 a.m. Do I know? Do I know what time it is? Do I have something here that says what time it is right now? Because I don't, I don't necessarily see anything. Okay, I've been working on finding vendors. This has been my thing, and I do see there's sort of a little vendor bag icon on my map here. So it looks like one of you has something to sell. I'm hoping it's an axe. No, you do, however, sell seeds. Okay, maybe I... Oh, they're kind of pricey just for a side quest. I'll think about it. I'll think about it. I'm going to go now, but I'll think about it. Anyone else got a bag icon over their head? You might come here. Uh, no, you don't have any wares to sell. You're only 15. You shouldn't be owning a store at that age. Uh, come here. I see you. I see you. Show me your wares. What do you got? Eggs. Right. Not, not actually what I needed. Oh, I found the tavern. I found where everyone goes at night. That's kind of cool. It's a, it's a terrible tavern, but these people seem wicked into it. They're all creepily staring at the wall. I'm going to assume you're the bartender. I don't suppose you have an axe, do you? No, you have a lot of food, which I kind of expected, but you don't, uh, yeah, you don't actually have any tools per se. Okay, well, you've got, you have a lot of food. If I need food, I know where to go. Wait, can I, can I sell you things? Could I, could I maybe sell you the apples? Do I have any ability to do that? If I said, yeah, sell, I want to sell some apples to you. Uh, sell both of my apples. I've been leaving some in people's boxes, but um, that that is not as good as a profitable apple. That's a free apple. Okay, well, neat. I, I can buy and sell things. I mean, I knew I could buy things, but now I know I can sell them to you too. If I come across any more apples, you'll be the first to know. Okay, just slow it down there, medieval dynasty. I, I just got into town. I was thinking about taking a nap, and you're already telling me to go get a wife. We'll think about it. I need to master axe first. But okay, I guess there's some um, viable prospects here in the tavern. I am... I'm stumped on axe. Okay, I found it. I finally found Axe. I found my crafting menu. It was a little bit of a rigmarole because it's a sort of a combination of the controller and the keyboard at the same time. But I found Stone Axe. I want to make that. Oh, I'm so happy to have Stone Axe. Okay, middle of the night. Let's go cut some trees down. We are ready to cut some trees down. All right, what do you got? Yeah, there we go. Now we're getting somewhere. Now we're cutting some trees down around here. Uh, sorry if this was like your favorite tree or something. I just sort of, um, I own this now. Apparently I don't need to collect the tree. I just need to cut it down. So cut trees one through five and then straw. Well, there's, there's reeds down here. Do I, I I'm just going to cut this tree real quick. And then I'm going to go investigate the reed situation. I feel a scythe would be more valuable for that. But let's uh, let's go check it out anyway. Can I do anything with my axe on these reeds? No. Okay, now that I know where crafting is, can I make a scythe? Stone axe, knife, that's for skinning, torches, firewood, and a simple sack. No, I don't see anything in there that says how to get the reeds, but... Well, I've, I've figured out axe. We'll figure out, we'll figure out straw as well. Oh, yeah, I've made a bit of a mess of the landscape here, haven't I? No, these things don't despawn. They just sit there and remind you that you are destroying nature for your own purposes. Uh, well done there. I should figure out the whole going to sleep thing. That should be my next move. Hi, I hope you had a good time at the tavern. You might be my wife later. How do I, a uh, bartender lady, how do I, like, sleep? Could you, could you tell me that? Is that a thing you do? Do you have a minute? I uh, just got back from working in the field and the noble thing again. Okay, never mind. Uh, we might end up getting married late, later. I'm not sure. I, I have to figure out how to go to bed first. Well, I've joined Wilhelm here in the Torch Club. We're members of the Torch Club. We've got torches. I'm going to see if um maybe I can crash out on one of Wilhelm's beds. I don't know. I, I mean, I saw the... Oh, sorry, Occupado. Uh, yeah, well, you... Guys are kind of packing them in here. I saw the thing about sleeping by the fire. I just don't quite know. Do I have to make the fire? Is it like my own campfire that I have to make? Probably. Uh, let me go back to my cleverly disguised crafting menu here. 
Uh, building? Would that be... How about other? Show me other. Campfires. Okay. I need firewood. That was the thing I built. Hang on. Hang on. Um, was that in... Was that in crafting? Yeah, firewood. I need logs. Oh. Okay, how do I go about getting logs? Because I've cut trees down. I, I figured that part out. How do I go about making a log out of the tree? I'm going to go check out my deforestation over here. Oh, okay, I just wasn't hitting it in the right way. I can... Oh, a broadleaf plantain. That sounds yummy. I can further chop up the trees that I've chopped down. Oh, now they've all despawned. Well, that figures. Oh, no, this one hasn't. No, 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 no. This hasn't gone anywhere. I just wasn't hitting it in exactly the right way. So I'm getting some sticks, and then if I hit this again, now I can get a log. Right. Remind me how many logs I actually needed for that. Uh, campfires. Oh, wait, I need to make the firewood first. Hang on. That was other... Uh, no. Where, where did that live? Crafting. Firewood. Okay. Uh, yeah, make that. Oh, I didn't need the logs at all. I just needed sticks. It's the advanced campfires that I'm going to need that stuff to. Okay, great. Well, um, make me that. How, where, where potentially can I put this? Can I, can this exist? Ah, not so close to another village. Oh, okay. Uh, we'll, we'll move out here into the middle of nowhere where there are probably bears. I mean, I think there actually are bears in this game. I'm not kidding about that. I think there are bears. And, um, and wow. We, we gotta go way... There we go. Okay, pop that there. Now what do I do with you? Uh, yeah, light a fire. L light a fire. Okay, oh, there we go. We're lighting a fire. And we're sleeping. Okay, we're sleeping. Actually, while we're here, what, what could we do with some cooking? No, I don't want to sleep through the day. I want to cook. There we go. There we go. Nothing yet. I need more ingredients. Okay, that's fine. Let's sleep through the night. I think I may be misreading the bars on the bottom. I, th I think I might be starving to death. It's entirely possible I'm starving to death. I'm going to drink some water, and then I'm going to, uh, well, you know, eat some food, basically. So if I go to uh, those oat rolls, those will do very well. Let's eat that. Does that get me where I need to be? Better, yes. Okay, so I was misreading that. The orange is the food. Okay. Now I just need to map... There's reeds. I got it. I was looking at the wrong thing. Oh, I got a level of survival. That's cool. I don't know what that entails yet, but it doesn't really matter because I've got the ingredients I need to... Well, actually build a house. So, building. Okay. House. Right. Not enough resources. Oh, I need some more logs. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. I can do that. I can I can master logs. Yeah, I gotta be more careful about looking around too. Yeah, right, like I've ever done that, because one tree is producing many logs. I was only picking up one from the night I from the ones I felled the night before. Can I do anything with the stump? No. But one tree is producing several logs, so I'm I'm going around completely deforesting the area unnecessarily. I should eat something else soon. But how are we on the log scenario? Have we got... Yes. Yes, we can do a simple, small house, which is comes kit-sized, just fully formed, ready to go. And I'm sure I probably have to move this well out of town here. Well, this just brings up the idea, where do I want to live? Okay, we're getting into some good territory up here. I like kind of being backed up to a hill. That's not a bad idea, but I want to leave some space. I don't know if this is going to be my permanent home or not, but I want to leave some space in case I want to set up a farm in front. That looks like the door facing out to the river. That'll be a nice view in the morning when I'm having my coffee. I am going to build this. Okay, and then we just sort of go up to this? What do we... I probably have to equip my hammer, don't I? Although, while I'm in this menu, I may as well spend that point that I got. So I've got one point in survival. Okay, survival knowledge, I'm just going to gain more skill points. So that's, that's actually probably a good one to take early on. Insensitive is a work in progress, but I will be more... I will be more tolerant to temperature changes. Iron, oh no, 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 it's very, very sensitive here. So iron liver resistance, oh, well, I'm going to get poisoned? 
Resistance to poisoning implies that I'm going to get poisoned. Okay, how about survivalist? Slower loss of food and water. That's got to be handy. That's got to be handy right there. That's, I think that's a really good early one to take. I'm going to... Can I take that? How do I... How do I take that? I want to, oh, I need three points. I get it. I get it. I get it. So I could take survival sense right now. And if I go into inspector mode, which I haven't actually checked out yet, I'll be able to sense mushrooms. That sounds like the stupidest superpower ever. I'm going to bank that. I'm going to bank that point. So get me to my hammer, please. And do I now just, yeah, okay. Wait, what was the edit? What else can I make? I could do walls with doors? Wall? Oh! Well, yeah, do a wall with a window then. I want to do that. That sounds cool. Yeah, give me one of them. I need some logs. Okay. Now, I've accidentally got my torch out, but I'm learning to cope with it. So a wattle wall with door. Boy, that's fun to say. I'm going to put that up. It takes a few swings to get it done. Oh, I'm out of resources. Okay. Right. I've built... Okay, here's where we're at in Medieval Dynasty. Here is day, well, technically day two in Medieval Dynasty. I have mastered axe. I have figured out how to make and use an axe. I have met the local townsfolk. Some of them don't like me. Some of them do. One of them may be my wife in the future. And of my new house, I have built exactly two walls and nothing else. So I'm going to go in my new house and look at my two walls and nothing else. And then I'm basically going to have to spend some time cutting down a lot of trees and gathering a lot of resources. And I think that's what I'll do after this. Oh, it's raining. That's unfortunate because I haven't figured out the roof yet. So that is some medieval dynasty. Do guys please let me know what you're thinking of medieval dynasty. I would not be opposed to plugging along with this a little more, if only to finish my house. I only have the two walls at this point, but I'm kind of, I'm kind of digging this. I kind of, I kind of see where it's going. I mean, it's, it's early access. I could, I'm already noticing some issues that could probably be polished up a little bit, but the overall feel of it, I'm kind of digging. So do please let me know what you're thinking of Medieval Dynasty? Uh, hopefully the answer is, yeah, plug along until you at least got your house built, you moron. Um, possibly don't use the word moron. I mean, what the heck, I've, I've been called worse by people who like me. But anyway, long story short, let me know what you're thinking of Medieval Dynasty. And hey, if you enjoyed the video, do please leave a like down below. It does cheer me up no end when people do that. And if you're new to the channel, maybe just checking it out for the first time, feel free to hit that subscribe button. See more of this ridiculous nonsense. Until then, I'm Dave. I'm going to go try and get out of the rain in a house with no roof, and we'll see you next time. Bugs are inherently stupid, and they get in places and they can't get out. You know what places they get in? Things that are wide open that don't have screens over them. It's a piece of mesh. We figured this out like a hundred years ago. What is wrong with the British, the Irish? I'm just going to keep shooting Hildegrad until she goes away, which is my response to most nuns, really. So now the pit of death is carbon dioxide, polluted oxygen, polluted water, and urine. I've just made it just a little bit worse for everyone down here.